We are back once again in the Lighthouse Diary, once again, Outdoors Edition. I know I just once again like three times already, but yeah, I'm just going to leave that bag right there because I'm going to give you a little 360 twice. Here we go. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever recorded one in this spot before, so I figured like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, I was just... Hmm. For quite some time now, I was second guessing a decision that I made um, some years ago. Um, it still feels pretty recent uh, for me, or like, you know. Anyway, <laughs> scratch uh, that that little uh, uh, little phrase. But yeah, it has been some time. Uh, since I have re-gifted um, something that had carried years of sentimental value. And I'm not going to lie, for like a good second, I was in regret about doing that. And um, I'm not going to lie, like this past, um, how, this past like how many months of um 2023 i would still i would still miss um you know that sentimental um i guess you could say um soul tie or memory um yeah i'm not gonna lie even as i'm recording this i'm still coming to terms with that decision like to some degree I feel like overall I have accepted what I have done um but yeah something has come across my mind um a few times but I just never written it down and I thought to myself like maybe there's somebody else um out there um who has you know tried to get into uh, minimalism slash like essentialism um, like myself, I'm still not, I still wouldn't consider myself a minimalist expert or like an essentialist, um, expert, but, um, but yeah, nevertheless, like, embarking on this, uh, journey of, um, yeah, basically not going above and beyond for, like, material things, you know? not being consumed by uh consumerism like and material things you know just trying to improve on that you know it's definitely taught me something and revealed something to me about myself and yeah i'm just starting to um rationalize it i think that's the wrong word for it but i'm still um mentally grasping this as I'm talking about it um yeah working on becoming more minimal uh becoming more minimal becoming more um essentialist um it really showed me that I actually don't believe in the idea of possessing something I don't believe in possessions you know like I still can have you know things in my life right but I don't necessarily have to believe that I own those things now I'm not saying like go out there and be a thief I'm not saying that I'm just saying that like even when there is something like in your life that you know, would be considered a belonging, you know, you just get to this point where, you know, you don't really see it as like part of your identity. It's just something that's in your life. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So it's like you have like things in your life without seeing that like, oh, like I possess them. Like, oh, I have like um, dominion over them you know it's just like oh this is something that just adds to my life this is something that's part of my life and 
you know, this whole journey with um, trying to get better at minimalism, trying to get better at essentialism. Um, it's also been showing me that if something um, isn't adding to uh, my life, if something isn't like adding to my experience in life, like despite its presence in my life, then essentially it's okay to move on. And yeah, basically what I'm trying to say with um, my specific example of, you know, re-gifting uh, something that was originally um, for me, originally intended for me, um, I started to think to myself, like, you know what? Also, like, taking into consideration uh, some closure that I have um, experienced um, last night. Yeah, my friend, um, my like, one of my new friends, he was basically talking to me about how, you know, there are going to be times in our lives where, like, we're unsure of, like, what to feel, what to think, what to do. I'm kind of just, like, paraphrasing right here but like I like he didn't like say it in these exact words I'm basically trying to get the message across like in my own way um because I'm not always the best at memorizing things verbatim but like I'm pretty pretty good at remembering intentions though um but yeah he was basically saying that there are seasons that you're just meant to be unsure you're just meant to be uncertain and that is perfectly okay and that's still valid it still counts for something and when he was telling me that i was just like damn yeah for like all yeah basically all of 2022 i was basically judging myself for feeling indecisive and when i really took his uh, perspective into account i thought to myself like you know what well, I was basically reminded today that me re-gifting or like me donating, me uh, giving something away, uh, me uh, cleaning out um, my physical space in some shape or form, cleaning out my personal uh, psychological space. Like number one, like it was meant to play out the way that it played out. And like number two, I was reminded that, you know what, I was holding on to something temporarily for somebody else to have it. I was holding something for another friend. I was holding something for someone else to have in the future, and it was meant to play out that way. and. I don't know if you have you know experienced something similar where you felt like you gave something away uh too soon and you're kind of questioning um if that was the right choice for you to make um i hope that this has been of comfort to you and um if anything uh even if you consider this a uh, perspective um and it still doesn't resonate with you um, I suggest, you know, really looking um, into yourself and kind of being inquisitive and ask yourself, is there something out there that's better than what I miss? And if there is, if I do believe that there is something out there that is better than what I miss, what can I do to get closer to that thing? Um, like will that thing um, I guess take the space of what I gave away will that thing um, whatever it is will that thing make me even happier than what I had before um, or as like Timothy J. Ward would say like if if you want something back then buy it back <laughs> that's that's his way of putting it but but yeah even if like even if you can't like get that exact uh thing back maybe there's something similar 
that, again, like I mentioned before, could have like a multi-purpose, like have like, have like more to offer you. Yeah, just kind of remind yourself that, you know, you're going to have those seasons where you're going to be super generous and you're going to have like those seasons where you kind of ask yourself like what can I add to my life now now that I've like removed um things to my life what is going to serve me the best right now so um yeah but yeah what whichever way that you go or maybe like there's another like approach that you have um, to um, making uh, decisions of like donating and like regifting and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, feel free to uh, share um, your thoughts and experiences uh, down below um, if you feel led to do so. If you have like alternative um, advice or, or alternative encouragement for. Um, somebody out there feel free to do so and um yeah again if this resonates with you great if this doesn't resonate with you that's okay too um you don't have to force a shoe to fit <laughs> um as always thank you for being a friend uh stay safe stay cozy stay sincere to your healing and adventurous self and i'll see you in the next Lighthouse Diary Entry. Be good to yourself, even if you question your choices, is basically what I'm trying to say.